What's up, guys? It's your boy, Brent C. So I wanted to talk about the housewife scenario. I do believe that it's the best scenario for a man and woman. Because, guys, it is true. If you demand more from your woman work-wise, she's not going to be able to give you as much work-wise. Now, it is some super women out there, guys. That they'll go work 40 hours a week, still come home, cook, clean, suck, and fuck. But that is very rare, and I, I do really believe that they could do that maybe in spurts and waves, but 365, you know, every week, 52 weeks, I don't necessarily think so, because at some point, you, they're going to face burnout. Because I think it's a good thing, a beautiful thing for the man to take care of the woman if she earns it. If she has been putting in work with you or you meet her and you see that she has all her stuff together and then she gives up all her place and all that to come move with you and to just work part time or just not work at all while she's raising the kids. Because that's what I would do. That's my suggestion. Let the woman not work while y'all have when she when she's taking care of the kids. Like, as babies, like, raising them up and stuff like that. But check this out, guys. This is a new era. This is post-feminism era. So, I do believe now that women are able to work, this ain't the 1930s. So, the thing about it is, I would say it's cool to be a stay-at-home wife or mom when they're little. Because that is a full-time job. But once you get done with that, once the kids are of age, it's okay for you to go back to working part-time. I would not suggest going back to working full-time if the man is able to take care of that. Because, once again, women will face burnout. And then that takes away from her being able to do her full-time wifely duties and motherly duties. But once it gets to the point to where those kids or children are self-sufficient, they're in grade school, they catching a the school bus, so y'all dropping them off to school at 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning or whatever. Well, what's she going to do for the rest of the day then? She won't have to pick them up to anywhere from 2.30 to 4.30 or whatever it's going to be. If they have sports, maybe later. So at that point, it's just like, well, what else you going to do? You talking... 40 hours of nothingness okay she can go to the gym she could cook and clean but how much cleaner are you gonna have to do in the house unless y'all got a mansion or something so you got to think about this stuff guys the idle mind is the devil's playground you you definitely want to make sure that your woman has something to do because everybody ha needs a purpose now if you move a woman in and y'all don't have kids no kids at all Y'all need to get a dog or a cat or something. Y'all need to get some type of animal for her to take care of. Because if a woman has no purpose, her mind starts to wonder. You start raising the chances of her stepping out on you. Now, if you're a 360 man, if you're a solid dude, I mean, those chances are naturally going to still, it's going to counterbalance it. And you still have a low, low chance. But she's probably going to want to start going out with her friends a little bit more while you at work or she's gonna sit at home and just get fatter or be sitting around looking on facebook or instagram or any social media apps and then when you come home she has all these grandiose ideas about what y'all should be doing you know when you come home she's gonna be bored out of her mind oh baby let's go out to eat or let's go do this every single day she's gonna want to have this whole agenda for you outside of work. And that shit gets annoying. I've been through that before because I've lived with my ex. Well, she lived with me and I was paying all the bills. She did not have a job at the time. She was in between jobs. And that's exactly how that shit went, guys. Everybody needs something to do. You need to make sure that your wife has a role or your girl, whoever, has a role. And you, have, and you know your role as a man. In my opinion... My opinion, I feel like it's best for women to be solely stay-at-home moms or stay-at-home wives when the child is very small. But once they get to grade school and, like I said, you could drop them off or they're catching a the bus and then that woman has a, a long period of time where she has nothing to do, 
then I would suggest just allowing your wife or your girl to go part time working somewhere. It can even be from home, but that way she has something to do.